what is going on Sagittarius it is Scorpion Reds Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you know what is going on for mid-month June the 15th through the 30th yes indeed shout out to everyone who has clicked this video thank you so much for the support and spreading love and light let's get into the announcements okay so if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab on my um youtube page okay you will see a lot of links there um what you want to do is book and then link with me okay book and then link you'll see my booking link which is the first link um in the little hyperlink section okay it says scorpion reds uh, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link. Select the um, reading that you want from the menu. And then you double back to my YouTube page and link up with me. Right directly under the booking link, you'll see my Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram where you can send me a message after you book and say, Hey Reds, it's me. I booked on this and this and that today. So we can connect on there to do the video chat. If you don't have Instagram, you can use Google Hangouts. Hangouts. Now, Google Hangouts is an easy app that you can download from whatever um, application store that you have. And you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, that's scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message on Google Hangouts and we can link up there. Now, if you do not want to get on camera or if you want to recap of the video, there's an add-on in the menu for when you purchasing your videos. Where you can purchase an add-on to ever have me per, uh, record a recap of your video where the whole session of your reading will be recorded and a private link will be uploaded to YouTube where only you and I will have the link to that. All right. Or um, if you don't want to get on camera with me for a live reading and you just rather just send me your question pertaining to whatever reading that you book, that's cool. Choose, like I said, either Google Hangouts or Instagram which is the uh, platform that we will be communicating at send me the question only that you want to know don't tell me the information surrounding the question or why you're asking the question only tell me what you want to know not what's going on okay because i'm gonna pull the energy we're gonna see what um spirit says and then we'll go from there okay so if you would like to send some support and love to the page, shout out to everyone who's been sending love to the page. We got a brand new Lenormand deck here. This is the heal. What is this here? Okay. We're using some new decks today that have been sent to us through Amazon. So shout out to 31 Shadows that sent the healing light Lenormand deck. This deck is so freaking beautiful and we will be using that today. And just to let you guys know, I'm going to be purchasing... A lot of um I'm studying Lenormand and Cartomancy right now so you might see me switching up and using a lot of like Lenormand and just playing cards because I'm trying to learn that art of, of reading so um, I'm actually about to get into shells and a lot of things I, I even got the little book on how to read with the tea leaf it teach you how to read the coffee grounds and tea grounds and stuff like that so i'm going to be expanding my art and my form of art of me um doing readings so i hope that you guys enjoy that it will be coming soon so today we will be using two lenormand decks and we also got the zentero deck that was sent to us by my baby girl callie um we have here the Love Oracle deck. Shout out to my girl Amanda. She sent some love and light through um, PayPal, which purchased this deck. So I just want to, um, and as you guys know, we also have the Game of Thrones deck. That has been also sent through my baby girl, Callie. So listen, you guys, oh, to another one by Callie. I mean, Callie has just been like blessing and giving us love 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 please y'all send some love to Callie out in the in the chat please y'all send love to 31 shadows to my baby girl Amanda to my baby girl Callie Callie also hooked us up with this numerology deck that we're going to be using today as well so listen I could not be able 
to give you guys this fabulous product that we have that we're doing if it's not for y'all love and support y'all be making me cry because like i don't even be knowing i have my amazon set up so i don't know when the packages is coming so it's like don't spoil my surprises so it's like literally i just be chilling and i get a knock at my door and it's like a package and i just be so thrown off and i just be busting out crying so thank you guys so much for all the support and the love that you guys have been sending to the page because you guys are amazing and you guys make me amazing and you guys are pushing me and because of the decks that you guys have been sending me it made me want to expand my knowledge and want to study the Norman and Cartomancy. So thank you guys so much for pushing me and believing in me and trusting in me to provide you guys a message. I thank you guys so, so much. And we are starting out with my beloved Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You already know what we about to do. So, again, if you guys would like to um, send some love, light, and support to the page, if these videos resonate and give you any type of insight and guidance and you just want to say thank you and send some love this way, um, my Amazon wish list is in the uh, about tab right under the Instagram as well as my PayPal if you want to send a dollar or two. And don't forget, we also have the membership, okay? The Collectors Gatherers membership. So for the people that cannot afford, so if you go over to the private reading section, because basically the private reading, what we're doing right now with all of these decks, all of this stuff, all of that, okay? Even though I had someone in the comments say, I hate your readings, you use too many decks. Bitch, fuck you, get the fuck off my page. Y'all already know how I am. I cuss. I do me. If y'all don't like that, y'all already know what to do. And do not leave no dumbass comments up under my damn video. Because you ass will get cussed and dragged the fuck out. And listen. Y'all already know. <laughs> y'all already know. Like how stupid is that? And woman gonna tell me I use too many cards. What you don't like an in-depth reading? Well get the fuck off my page then anyway. So listen. So for the people that cannot afford an in-depth reading. Like how I'm doing today with you guys. You have the opportunity to become a member, my collectors gatherers crew, okay? And we're over on Patreon. So for a dollar ninety-nine or four ninety-nine, you guys can become a member over there and you'll get um exclusive content to a lot of reading. A lot of these collective readings will some of them will be moved off. I won't be doing them as frequently over here. I will be slowly moving the collective, some of the collective, like y'all might only get a tea leaf reading like maybe once or twice a month because the majority of it is going to be over on patreon to my membership group you know what i'm saying because i want to be able to give them exclusive content we also have other decks that were sent here as well that i exclusively use over on patreon here we have one that is very sexually explicit the the, the, the camera tarot and we have uh a spread over there called um sex scandals and secrets that we do over there and honey what i'm trying to tell you mix up with them tea leaf cards bitch it be some shit coming the fuck on out with them cards and then we also have that afro brazilian tarot deck this is my personal deck like i use this personally for myself so i really don't use this deck on camera a lot but i may you know, grace y'all and give y'all a reading from the gods, you know, one day, especially when I do my life purpose deck. So um, we will be doing some life purpose readings over on Patreon, too. This is my life purpose deck, and I will be mixing that up. OK, I will be using the Brazilian, the Afro Brazilian tarot to get some direct energy from the gods and from spirit. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of love over there. Now, as you know, the retrograde, and I know I'm sorry, this guy, this is a long intro. Y'all know the retrograde is coming. And that shit is hitting me earlier. I done had my printer break. My wireless uh, uh, <laughs> speaker just broke. Like, shit is breaking, bitch. I don't know what the fuck is going on or why I, I, they, they especially want to fuck with me. But anyway, so what we're doing, I'm, I'm working on getting me another speaker right now. But... What we're going to be doing over on Patreon, like I said, for the people that cannot afford the readings, the personal and private readings, you can have a personal and private reading back in the lair. 
back in the layer. This is membership only. So only if you're a member can you have access to Patreon. Either for $1.99 a month or $4.99 a month. You'll have exclusive content to read it. And you'll be able to, like I said, get private readings over there. Short readings, okay? But I do probably like 10-minute readings, okay? So... On the 199 tier, you guys can like when I I'll give you guys the heads up before I go live. Either you guys can send me your question, or you can send it to me on live. Um, yeah, or you can send it to me on live. Now for the 499 tier, I haven't done the um, live readings for the 499 tier yet because like I said, my um my speaker broke. But for that, I have a conference line where you guys will be able to call in and speak to me directly, and we can conduct your reading on the phone live on camera and we'll be able to do it that way and like i said on the 499 tier that's the adult only tier where we're going to be had the sexually explicit um decks over there and as well i have a list of uh topics that we're going to be talking about on the chat we're going to be doing live call-ins where i want my babies to call in and we're going to be talking about certain topics that have been coming out in the readings um there was a topic that came out um, in Patreon about same-sex uh, at-work crushes. Like, have you ever had someone at your job that is, like, the same sex, like, have a crush on you? Like, what was that experience like for you? Did you like the attention? Did you not like the attention? Like, if you didn't like the attention, how did you deal with it? Like, what, like, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? Because some of that has been coming out in the readings. We've been having some... Uh, Stuff coming out in the readings about stalking. Stalking. Like if you ever had a stalker. What did you do? How did you handle it? So we can. And then we also had some stuff coming out about abuse. So we're going to be talking about these topics that's been coming out in the readings. Back in the lair. We're going to be in a private area where you guys can call in. It's anonymous. You guys don't have to announce who you are. You understand? And we're going to talk. And you guys tell me how you feel about the subjects and we're going to be able to continue to educate each other by, you know, giving our testimony that can help other people, you know. So it's going to be live. It's going to be way more interactive over there. And so sorry for this long intro, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's popping. Um... Because I don't think that you guys got the announcement last month. So, yeah, y'all come on over and join me over on Patreon. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. And I cannot wait to get on the phone and talk to you guys. So, yeah, y'all come on over there and join me at Patreon. All of the links for everything that I just described is in the About tab. Now, let's get into the reading before we have a whole hour and a half long reading, okay? So... Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much for spreading that love, light, and positive energy all through us, Father God. We have been holding on. I don't know why I wanted to sing that, but I felt like we are holding on. I don't know what we're holding on to, but we're holding on, Father. Okay? Come on, Father. Come on through, Father. Please tell us. Please tell me why I wanted to scream and sing holding on. Please let me know, Father, because I really do feel like um, Sagittarius is trying to, like, enrich their spirit right now. Um, I feel like they've been having a lot going on. It's been, like, a lot of moving parts going on in their life right now. And they've just been, like, kind of holding on to, like, their sanity right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot going on. Father God, help us be able to steer this chariot, you know, correctly and just have our emotions balanced because I'm feeling like the chariot card in reverse right here right now. I'm feeling chariot card in reverse. Um, yeah. It's like I just did a double blink. Like, you <laughs> have you ever, um, it's just like so much going on. You just sitting there like, um, blink, blink. Shake your head. Okay, let me figure out what the fuck. Okay, so like I'm feeling like we're right there. Feeling a little dizzy, a little topsy turvy, a little dizzy. It's a lot going on. You know, where so much shit moving around. It's like it's making you dizzy. You know what I'm saying? When you blink and blink, blink, uh, shakes head, grasp energy. Okay. So, Father God, help me figure out how to navigate appropriately for my um, Sagittarius because 
I'm definitely feeling the chariot card in reverse here. Um, I don't know. You guys might be dealing with a cancer or something like that. But I don't think so. I really do feel like you guys just feel uh, emotional, emotionally off balance because you just don't know where things are going. Everything is just kind of in a disarray. So... Sorry, I needed some water. So enough of me channeling energy. Let's get into the reading. And thank you so much, Father God. Please continue to spread love and light all over us. Please continue to release anything that is no longer serving us. And help us to grasp and hold on to everything that is love, life, and prosperous to us, Father God. Allow us to just meticulously, meticulously... You know, plan, plot, and strategize and figure out a way through whatever mess and whatever maze that we're going through, Father God. And just continue to give us strength because we are, one thing we know, we are fire side and we're strong and we don't play. So, Father God, give us guidance. Give us love and light. Thank you so much for walking with us. Thank you so much for carrying us on your back when we needed it, when we were too tired to walk on our own, Father God. Um, continue to enrich and to heal our spirit, to heal our soul. Please give us guidance for June the 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much for all the lessons and the blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much for the healing. Thank you. Music. Music is the key to your soul. I feel like the art of music, it helps balance y'all. It helps get that solar plexi frequency going upwards and downwards through your uh, alignment of chakras. Going up to the heart chakra. What you know that you need to do is going up to your heart chakra to make you love what you need to do. And then what you love... And you know that you need to do it goes up to your throat chakra so that you can speak what you love and you know that you need to do. And then once you start speaking it, it goes up to your third eye chakra. All right. And then once it goes up to your third eye chakra, you have an understanding of what you know that you love and that you need to do and that you can speak it and that you can see it and you can understand it. And then it goes down to your sacral chakra and you can Feel it. And then it reaches even further down to your root chakra. And then it becomes what I am. You understand? Vibrations, music. Like I tell y'all, do not listen to no trigger music. Listen to happy music. Okay? Listen, to, you better turn on some Megan Thee Stallion. Big old freak. Hey, big booty, big old freak. Hey. Okay. I'm reloaded, bitch. Listen, big old freak. Hey, big booty, big old treat. Hey, okay. I already know how y'all listen. I already know how y'all say. Just get down. Look, you better turn on your theme music. Big old freak. Hey, big old booty, big old freak. Hey. <laughs> you better turn on your theme song. What? Okay. Let's get some guidance in regards to this music. Ah. Spirit number is 32. So if you've been seeing that number 32, that represents music. Bala, dance, dance, my friend, dance, okay? All right? That music, I feel like, based on the music that you listen to, it helps you figure out how you feeling, what you doing today, what you doing today. And with that orange, that's the sacral chakra, it helps you feel it. You understand? So make sure that you listening to some good, some good music, some good nourishing music. Turn it in. All right, you don't turn it in. Now you turn it out. Now you turn it out. You turn it down the intensity, though. You turn it down some intensity, though. You know you a spitfire. Y'all already know the fire signs. Uh-uh. Turn in and turn the nigga out. All right. I feel like before. Ooh. Can we just talk? Hey. 
Hold on, who the fuck been trying to interrogate you? You like no man, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham, and I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Don't be coming over here trying to interrogate a motherfucker. What? The tower. Bitch. Mm. There's about to be an ending and a beginning. Both of y'all being thrown out this tower, though, bitch. Both of y'all being thrown out the tower, bitch. I don't know why. Listen, I want you guys to listen to me very quickly. Because y'all see this shit is ending out with this tower card here. So if you can avoid you and whoever it is that you're dealing with both being... This is both of y'all being punished and thrown down to your face. Okay? Because apparently someone ain't listening to reason first about something. About something. About something here. It's temperance. Let me make sure I'm not tripping. And listen, cause I know, listen, cause I, and I know I know what it is, but I don't know why I always second guess myself, y'all. I'm so sorry. I know it's temperance, ain't it? Yes, it is. I don't know why the fuck I always think I don't know what the. Anyway, listen. Y'all done turned in, and now y'all turning out. Okay, y'all were in a situation before where you were bored. Okay, you were bored. It was emotionally stale, stagnant. I feel like y'all were just in a state of being. You were in a state of being with something. You know, you were in a state of being. You see these emotional waters, these distresses her. Like, you were dressed in emotional waters. Like, possibly, like, when you were, like, moving around, going around through life, going to work, you know, dropping your kids off. I feel like people could see this emotional dress that was on you. Like, you walk with your emotions on you. Like, you've been doing that for a minute due to some situation that clearly was intense because the next card is intensity and you're turning this shit down. You see all those demons around her? Those are like a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of pressure, a lot of stuff that it just was just too much for you. And I feel like you guys needed to like, like I told you, get them chakras in line. You needed to get them chakras in line and you needed to dance to the beat of a brand new tune and some new music. And I really do feel on a deep level that y'all had to go in and feel your dress, those deep waters. Y'all had to go in and feel every aspect of this to figure out, is this something that I really want? Maybe what is being offered to me, I don't really, I don't really want it as much as I'm holding. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Have you, like, a, just a state of being, a state of being, when it's like internally, this is what's going on inside. This looks dark. You understand? This looks dark. And I had to explain this to you because I want you to understand what I mean you turned in to turn yourself out. This was a situation, because I take this as the four cups. This was a situation where you didn't know. If you wanted it or didn't want it. You weren't accepting it and you weren't rejecting it. You was just in a state of being and just going with the flow type of shit. Do you see what I'm saying? This the dress, going with the flow ass, face ass type nigga. You understand what I'm saying? But look what's rocking your mind though. Look, look, look what that's bringing you. So you had to balance yourself and you had to go in and feel those waters, like deeply feel those waters and really make a decision because you can't just be in no state of being. You just living. No, you need to make a decision. You need to be aware of your feelings, be aware of what the fuck is going on inside. You can't just be walking around <laughs> with this emotional dress on you because I feel like a lot of people were unfortunately... They, they, they had to deal with that emotional dress that you had on sometimes. And sometimes they had nothing to do with them. Nothing at all to do with them. 
It's because you weren't making decisions in life. You were just in a state of being. Instead of getting yourself balanced. Now you didn't turn yourself in. You didn't already turn yourself in. And you don't face it. You don't battle those demons to figure out what it is that you actually want. And you realize that I might not be as interested in this shit as I thought I was. More aware of where you're at in your state of emotions. Able to feel what's going on. And able to make decisions and changes based on that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't drunk in love. You ain't stupid. You ain't feeling emotionally unaware. Or just feel like you're void of emotions. Because this person is someone that is emotionally numb. She done had them demons hoovering over her so much. It's like she don't even feel that shit no more. You understand what I'm saying? No, I feel that shit. And I don't like that shit. Because I don't like y'all energy around me. I need y'all to get the fuck around me. Because this shit is too intense. And I don't necessarily like this shit around me. I'm about to dance to a beat of a whole new motherfucking drum. Okay? So, Abby, you better start singing a different tune. Or I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to turn in and turn your ass out. Okay? And you about to be turned the fuck on, right the fuck on out of my life. Okay? Because I'm tired of turning up on hoes. Like, it, like I really do feel like Sagittarius is tired of turning up on them. Like, I'm tired of having to turn up on y'all motherfuckers. Like, have y'all, are y'all not entertained? Like, like do y'all get off on, on, on me having a motherfucking, yeah. Kicking the door, waving in the fofo. Like, I feel like this turned you on or something to piss me the fuck off or something. Like, you would, would you like this? Like, this is someone that, this is what Sagittarius was dealing with. And you know what this is right here? These are complaints. But you did this and this and that. But what if this happened and this and that? And it's such it's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are getting the fuck on my nerves. Shut the fuck up. Like, for real. For real. For real. Who the fuck do you think that you are? That you can interrogate me about shit. You can't interrogate me no more. You can't ask me no questions no more. You can't hoover over me complaining, whining, begging. No. I, I feel like I feel like Sagittarius has been put in off making a decision about something. Where this intensity has built up so bad. And now you got you got people interrogating you. It's like you're going through a day-to-day -day interrogation about something. You are like so off balance. And I'm trying to tell you like, y'all are all fucking balanced. All, and then the stress card is right here. I'm trying to tell y'all, I felt that shit. I felt it before I even pulled any cards, young. I felt that shit. It's a lot of arguments and arguments and arguments with someone. And again, please look at this card, y'all. If you do not go and get yourself balanced, this shit, the temperance card, this represents the temperance card. That represents faith. That represents hope. Do you understand? That represents your spiritual belief. It's like this shit is fucking you up. And it's only because you're allowing it, though, Sagittarius. Like, I swear, like, come on now. You can't blame nobody but the man in the mirror. And you know it. You know it. Because I'd have been a punch this nigga in his throat. Like, who the fuck you think you talking to? Intensity and interrogation and stress in reverse? You finally just now realizing that you need to block this shit out. That you tired of having to fucking defend yourself all the time. This is someone having to defend themselves. Like you always walking on a tightrope with a motherfucker. Some clown shit. It was some straight ass clown shit going on. And I'm sorry Sagittarius, but you was a clown too. You allowing this shit. Like why you allow it? Why? Why you keep inviting this shit into your life? 
That's why I'm trying to tell you you're at fault too because God is penalizing both of you guys. Both of you. And I think I'm trying to remember what the reading was last month. I think I warned you guys about this shit last month. Did I not? I could have sworn I did. I just don't remember because when I detach from readings, I don't I don't remember. Like, I really don't remember. But I could have sworn, my nigga. I could have fucking sworn. I could have sworn. And it's like you staying in a situation and look what you're dealing with. Stress, interrogation, intensity. You not knowing what to choose. Your mind being so clouded. It's like you're fucking emotionally numb. You're emotionally burnt. And now you done turned in and now you finally turned out. You're blocking that intensity. You like, I'm, I'm tired of turning up. I'm, you, you Don't ask me no more questions. I'm not defending myself no more. Fuck it, fuck it all. It's like, it's like, you just had a fuck it all moment. Fuck it all. Fuck you. Fuck everything. Fuck it all. Fuck this house. Fuck with any investments. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. That's why I'm about to call this shit. Fuck it all. Like for real. Let's 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 clarify. Please clarify this spread for my Saggies. The music. Turn it in intensity. Interrogation. Stress and thunderball. Spirit, please clarify. Birds. The birds. And then this is the male. This is the gentleman card, but this is a woman on his gentleman card. So I feel like you guys are trying to get away from like. You trying to get away from a situation that you felt. You trying to get away from a situation that you felt like. You were having to be the dominant person. It was like you had to be the man of the house. You had to be the caretaker. You had to be the provider. You had to be. You had to be everything. And it's just like that's not what the fuck. <laughs> like that's not what I signed up for that is not what I signed up for like I'm a woman I want to be a woman do you understand what I'm saying like I want to be a woman I didn't sign up to be the breadwinner to be the decision maker to be the aggressor I feel like in order for shit to get done she has to do it you know she has to do it and it's like this number 28, it represents someone needing to do things with more compassion and more tolerance. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like, I don't feel like you, it's like you're, you tried to be compassionate with that number 28. You tried to be compassionate and tolerant of this person and try to help this person and try your best to I mean you try I mean clearly the ace of hearts right here I mean you love this person you you're a very loving person you're a very giving person but at the same time it's like I'm not built to be no man like I'm a woman <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm a fucking woman I want to love I want to be nurtured I want to be taken care of you understand what I'm saying this is a very trustworthy, family-oriented person, but it's like, and very artistic as well with that uh, Ace of Hearts. But at the same time, it's like, at the same time, I feel like this woman was not allowed to be who she truly is as a woman because she was dealing with someone that wasn't stepping up and being a man the way that she needed him to be and I, I i feel like that's why she is flying away like this because it's 
I want to be a woman. I want to be nurtured. I want to be taken care of. I want to be able to relax. I want to be able to reach all my achievements, reach all my goals, and do everything that I want to do. I want to be able to be more compassionate and everything and everything that I do. But I can't do that if I have to be the man and the protector of the house when I should be the woman. And with this, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I have a fucking issues with ants, y'all. Anyway, I feel like that's why she had to fly away here, you know. With that seven of diamonds, like, that represents, like, steady improvement, like, in achievements and reward. Like, I, you know, she wants, she wants to be rewarded and recognized. And she wants to be able to invest and, you know, go somewhere. She wants to be able to go somewhere financially. And I feel like she wasn't able to accomplish and do the things that she needed to do um she wasn't able to do the things that she needed to do if she's if she's having to be a man in the situation she can't do that she most definitely cannot do that at all so um yeah i feel like she's flying away i feel like she's falling away i feel like there's problems going on And I'm looking real quick. It says that the birds represent verbal communication, phone calls, older couples, twins, small problems, negotiations, hectic meetings, interview, chatter, restless, you know. So like I said, it's like I definitely feel like it's been too much interrogation. It's been too much intense interrogation. It's been too much stress. It's been too much stress on her as a woman. She just wants to be a woman. She doesn't want to feel like she got to be the man of the motherfucking house. You understand what I'm saying? She wants to be able to be creative. She wants to be able to focus on her art. And whatever her art is. It brings her a lot of financial success and achievement and recognition. You know? She wants to be able to get financial achievement and recognition from that ace of hearts. From her heart. From her passion and what she loves to do. She does not love being in this role as the man in the house. She does not like that. Let's clarify that. And y'all, um, I am going to, because like I said, I'm still learning and stuff. You will may, uh, probably see me using my phone trying to clarify and look up some shit. Well, I just did. That's what I just did. I ain't going to be looking at nothing else. I know all the rest of these cards. Oh, I cannot wait to get my, um, my playing card decks, honey. Oh, I cannot wait. All right. Clarify the birds and the gentlemen. Yeah, imprisonment. Sagittarius feels like they're in a prison. They're stuck in this prison where it's like I'm. I gotta be the. I gotta be the breadwinner. I gotta. I gotta. And 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 they got a mouse in that lock. Yeah, it's like. All right, because like I said, I'm studying the Norman. So with that mouse and with that lock right there it's just been gnawing at them it's a gnawing sensation it's like i gotta get free like you are locked up you're entangled you're bound you're held captive you're imprisoned by this situation you feel like you're not able to express your art you're not able to communicate to the world freely who you are as a woman because you're stuck in a situation where you're forced to be the man you know? And it's just been gnawing at you. It's like you got it released. Like you feel like you're in. You're trapped in a fucking prison. You feel like you're trapped in a prison. And with this great fortune in the reverse. You feel like it's never going to come to you. If you don't get out of here. Like you got to get out of here. You have got to get out of here. And then number two. I feel like you're not the main woman. You're probably number two. Because if I'm the main woman. I want to be number one. 
And I don't want to hear no main woman. I want to be the only woman. What the fuck you mean main woman? I don't like that main woman. What? I don't like no main woman. I don't like main woman. Okay? Because there's a privileged one. There, like in this deck, there's like a privileged, there's a privileged lady in here. I'd rather be the privileged lady. I don't want to be the main one. What you mean? I want to be the only one. What you mean? Let's go to the Game of Thrones. Let's go to the Game of Thrones, okay? Figure out what type of games is going on here. My dear. Yeah, but you guys, y'all done turned in and y'all turning out. Like, y'all are awake, y'all are aware, y'all ain't stuck in no emotional rut where you don't know how to feel, you don't felt your emotions, and it's like, alright, I'm aware exactly how I feel. Because I feel like for a while, like, y'all was so numb, you didn't know how to feel, you didn't know what to do, you were just stuck in that state of being, and now that you done went through your emotions and you done felt what you felt, one thing that you know for sure is I'm tired of this motherfucker bitching at me and questioning me and me feeling like I'm having to defend myself all the time because bitch, you know what you motherfucking um, question me and interrogate me about nothing. This whole situation has been knocking me off with my faith and my spirituality. I feel like you guys ain't, y'all spiritually have not been feeling up the way that y'all normally do. Y'all want to fly the fuck away because you're tired of communicating with this person. You're tired of communicating with this person. You're tired of being so aggressive. Like, I feel like y'all have been walking around with a lot of anger and aggression in y'all chest. Because every time y'all go home, y'all are being stressed out and y'all are being interrogated. And you'll feel like you're locked up in this prison. And ain't no fortune coming out of this situation. And it's possibly a third party situation. Because I don't like that main female card. Not only that, but you feel like this person is holding you back from you being able to reach success in regards to your passion and what you love to do. And it looks like it has something to do with music. Temperance. There go that temperance card. Okay? Up here, that interrogation card represents that temperance card where it's saying motherfuckers is interrogating you. You need to, you need to get yourself back together. And as you can see, he's studying Study your art. Study your craft. Do you understand what I'm saying? That queen of hearts. Study what you love. You are creative. That will balance you. Turn your music on. That will help you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Remember who you are. Remember what you love. Remember what you're flying home to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Remember who you are. Love yourself. Have faith. Have hope. Have balance. Be creative. I need you to take a bath in these spiritual waters. Maybe I need to do a spiritual cleansing. I need you to get yourself balanced. I need you to get yourself balanced. I need you to bathe in some milk and honey. I need you to love on yourself. I need you to be love. I need you to be the walking definition of faith. You understand? The king of coins. The king of coins. Y'all could possibly be dealing with a, a, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay? You guys, you guys want a king of coins. Because right now you feel like you're the king of coins. Okay? You're the king of coins. Okay? You're the one that goes out in the field, hunts, hunts. Kills the food, bring it home. Like, you got to go out and hunt the food, come home, cook it, clean it, take care of the kids, wash the dishes, do homework, <laughs> and go to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you've had to do everything. And it's like, I need, I have faith and I have hope. And I'm going to do everything in my willpower that I need to do. I need to study and get back in touch with my faith. Getting back in touch with who I am. What I love to do. What makes me whole. What makes me happy. I'm pouring a cup of faith. Like drink a cup of holy water. I feel like you just, you, you straight, you don't even drink regular water. You drink prayed over water now. Like maybe that's what y'all doing. Maybe y'all are doing that water 
stuff, water magic stuff, where y'all be praying over y'all water. You you like hold your glass of water and you pray your attentions over your water before you drink it. It's like y'all be drinking prayer water like every day. <laughs> like it's like I need a king of coins. Like I can't do this by myself. I feel like I feel like Sagittarius cannot do this by themselves. They need a world man. For the Sagittarius women, they need a real man. And let me read this for the men as well. Let me read this for the men as well. I feel like you guys, for the men, like I said, y'all turned in and y'all turned out. You guys were emotionally numb. And y'all didn't know if y'all really wanted to accept or deny um, a situation for a long time. But I feel like y'all done dealt with the emotions and y'all dealt with y'all demons with that. It was an intense situation. Y'all had someone that was knocking you off your balance through interrogation and stress. You felt like you were constantly having to defend yourself. And this thing is coming to an end because the tower is falling. It's going to be unexpected. Something is going to, and this is for both men and women, something unexpected is going to happen where there is going to be a ending to this. The whole foundation for whatever it was that y'all had is going to be over. And it's, it's because... Like I said, y'all been given chances after chances after chances after chances to assess this situation and decide what you're going to do out of state and really do what you need to do on both ends. To do the right thing and fix this and get this together on both parts or walk away. And if you recognize that the other counterpart is not doing what they needed to do, then you should have walked away. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be where things are still being held up and balanced right now where everything is off balance right now god is balancing it he's flattening the land for both of you guys okay you might be getting a lot of communication here sagittarius for the sagittarius men uh there might be some communication in regards to finances and career all right there might be some and, and you might get a, a call from a, a supervisor here. I take that this, um, this gentlemanly woman might be a supervisor or like a new job opportunity for the Sagittarius men. I feel like for a long time, um, you guys have been in prison, either in a fucked up situation that wasn't bringing you good fortune with whoever your main female is, ever that and or you are in prison, you are in jail right now, or you know what I'm saying, either the Sagittarius man is in jail and he's going through a bout of great misfortune right now and I feel like he's looking for savior from this uh, main female. He could be in the prison searching, studying information about his case to, and then this woman as well, this woman could possibly be, because I feel like this might be a Sagittarius man that Abbott is going to court or possibly about to go to jail or some shit like that. The intensity, the interrogation, the stress, the thunderbolt, the tower. I feel like this could be a Sagittarius man that's either in prison or about to go to prison. Uh-huh. And I feel like y'all possibly didn't want to emotionally expect uh, ex, ex, you didn't want to emotionally accept that and now you're having to face the music. You're gonna have to go to the tower. In prison. Great misfortune. Main female. I feel like the main your main female might have had something to do with this. And might have had something to do with this. But I feel like you guys, you guys are studying a way to like you know, resolve your case or whatever. The king of coins. You know, you guys are a leader, a protector, a provider. Like, you, it's like you're a good man. Like, I didn't even see this coming. Like, what the fuck is going on? I feel like someone was in prison. Like, maybe a Sagittarius, man. Like, maybe this fe great female that you're dealing with here. She got some issues with her or something like that where... I don't know if this has something to do with child support because the king of coins here, that's a father. That's a father. And it might have something to do about your coins. So I feel like some of you guys might be dealing with some type of court or something like that. Yeah, four spears. 
this has something to do with a marriage or a connection or um, some type of reconciliation. You have three of coins. You're putting something back together. It's like, for my Sagittarius women, it's just like you guys are studying. Like I said, you guys are getting yourself balanced. Like I said, you guys have, you guys have, y'all ready to fly away. Because you want to be able to study your art. So I believe that this is you guys studying your art. You guys are putting your love, your faith, and your passion back into everything that you want and that you love and that you deserve. You guys are, I believe, manifesting and calling in this king of coins to, ooh, the devil, shit. Y'all about to move away from the devil. Y'all trying to figure out if y'all should move away from this devil. Because it's like you want a king of coins. You want marriage. You want commitment. Like you want a strong foundation. And it's like. I feel like spiritually you want God to kind of help you. And whoever this is, this King of Coins is, this this Taurus, this Virgo, this Capricorn, they're going to Capricorn. I get it. I get it. I get it. So it's like for my Saggy women, it's like, like I said, y'all trying to. Y'all are trying to study. Y'all trying to find a way to call in this king of coins. Y'all want this person to stand up with his back straight to be a leader, a protector, a provider, to be a good man, a good father. It's like you really do want this thing to come back together. Like you want marriage. You want commitment. You want a successful engagement here. You guys, you want to invite people to this celebration, to this marriage, you understand, to this connection. You want that day to happen, you know, and it's you want to rebuild that house that was torn down, you know, or that is being torn down, you know. And it's like, I feel like you're saying, God, please help me because... Me and this person can't do this alone because I've tried, like, I've looked in every book, I've studied every secret known to man, and I just, I don't know what to do to make this person be the man that I need him to be, but I love him. I love him. I want to marry him. Hopefully, he wants to marry me, and I want us to be able to come before you one day. I hope that you'll accept us together in our hand of marriage and things like that. But we need help. We need help putting this back together. We need help with this plan and we need help. We just need help, you know, like. And it's like, God, if you don't help us, like, I don't know what to do because I don't know if I should stay or go in this situation like. Half, I'm one foot in the door, one foot out the door. One side of me wants to stay and one side of me wants to leave. But I'm like so trapped and I'm so bound in this situation. It's like, I don't know how to get out of it. I don't know how to make it better. I just don't know what to do. It's very toxic. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of um, accusatory statements going on. People are always having to, I mean, I feel like every night it's an argument every night and it's like you're having sex with someone that you hate it's like okay after the sex i hate this person i need you to be a man i can't do this by myself you understand it's like ever you gonna be what i need you to be or i'm gonna have to figure out if god won't help me in this situation I'm gonna have to leave because I don't I don't I don't know what to do. And God is helping you. <laughs> I told you, God is helping you. What you mean you don't know what to do? What you mean? Get rid of this motherfucker so I can send you a king of coins. Why are you expecting someone you expecting the devil to be the king of coins? Come on now. 
Look at this motherfucker. Do you think this motherfucker got any intentions of doing right by you? No. When someone show you who the fuck they are, believe them the first time. Believe them the first time. Like what? Like what? <laughs> Come on. I'm about to give you. I'm about to give you a little bit of tea on this devil. On this situation with this devil. Please give Sagittarius the tea on this devil. <laughs> a two-faced friend. This person is two-faced. This person got two different ways about them. Dragon. Be aware of self-delusion. You're deceiving yourself about this person. V. Victory in this endeavor. You better wake up. You understand what I'm saying? You better wake up and keep thinking that you're going to find victory in this in this situation. It's self-delusion. Do you understand what I'm saying? That person is two-faced. 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 Anyway, let's continue to go. We're going to go to the love oracle. He's giving guidance in love. Okay. It says... You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. You're not going to like it. But you're going to have to face the music, Sagittarius. God is ending this shit regardless if you like it or not. Regardless if you like it or not. God giving you the chance to see this person for who they are, but you want to stay in this grandeur of self-delusion about this situation. You want freedom. There is nothing stopping you. Look, freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yeah, you, you, you try to make someone be something that they ain't. And it's like you frustrating your own self. It's like you're frustrating your own self. And now this shit is backfiring because now this person is accusing you of shit. This person is down your back about shit. And it's like you don't even have no room to question me or anything. Like I need you to be the king of coins. I need you to be a good father, to be a good man. You know? And everything like that. And it's like you asking me about some dumb shit. What about... You taking care of this. How? You know what I'm saying? Like, what about this? What about my dreams? Like, this is someone saying, what about my dreams? Because I'm trying to tell you with that ace of hearts and that seven, what was that, the seven of diamonds? This is someone, like, I'm the, I'm the queen of hearts. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the queen of hearts. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, I believe it was the ace of hearts. It was the queen of hearts. I think it was the queen, I don't know, whatever. Whatever the fuck it was. It was just like, I need to be able to express my, I need the freedom to express my art and to be me. And it's like, I can't even focus on me and invest in the things that I want to invest in in my life that make me happy. Please give us guidance in regards to the heart chakra for my Sagittarius, for me, June. Awaiting results. You're waiting for things to grow. But your base chakra is fucked up. You're not able to shine. Love abound. Alright, so let's see what we got here. So in regards to the heart chakra and saying your weight and results, you guys have been growing in a lot of ways because I do see the temperance. I do feel like you guys have been studying something. I don't know if you guys have been going back to studying your art. No, it's saying that you, you've been trying to study and trying to figure out to make this shit work. Like y'all been trying, you've been trying to make this shit work with this person. And you've been trying to force and trying to make this person see that they, you need them to be the king of coins. But this person is the devil and they're going to stay the devil. So like, but you're, you're waiting results. You're waiting for the situation to grow. That's why your base chakra is off. 
That's why your root chakra is off. You're not aware. You're really not grounded into what really serves you. You waiting for something. You waiting for the devil to help you grow. This person showed you who he is. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You waiting for something to grow with the devil. <laughs> and then you wonder why you can't shine. The devil wants you bowed and tied to him. You're not there for you to shine. What the fuck do you think this is? You see how he's laughing at you? Like, bitch, you crazy. You thought I was going to let you shine? Like, are you fucking kidding me? You thought I was going to let you see the light? This is about me. It's about what I want. I control this shit. You don't fucking shine. Fuck you mean shine. Fuck you think I am God? Fuck you think this is? Shine. <laughs> I laugh at you. The fuck are you talking about? Look at this nigga talking to you. Shine. Huh. Huh. Who the fuck do you think I am? Who the fuck do you think I am? You think I'm here to be your friend? I made it seem like I'm here to be your friend. I'm not your fucking friend. You do what the fuck I tell you to do. You sit your ass at home. You do what the fuck I tell you to do. What are you complaining about? Oh, I feel like I gotta be the man in the situation. And? 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 Is there a problem? Is there a problem? <laughs> you fucking stupid. You fucking stupid. You're self-delusional. You're self-delusional. You're self-delusional. You're coming to me telling me, oh, I feel like I'm being the man in this situation. You thought that you getting victory coming to me with this conversation? You're fucking crazy. You're delusional. Remember who you're talking to. Give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> this is who you dealing with. You heard all that laughter, all that evil shit. This is who you dealing with. I, I had to do that for y'all so y'all can see who the fuck you're dealing with and how they look at you. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. Why would you ever think that you would be able to shine? Dealing with this person. You understand? There is love all around you. You better look at number one. Who's number one? Me, myself, and I. You better tap into that love that's abound within yourself. And you better grab it. And you better... <clears throat> you better let that shit blossom. Why would you allow someone like that to have control over your destiny? Why? <laughs> you better take back authority with that number eight and you better get yourself grounded and you better paint a different pitch and you better dedicate your effort to your fucking art and get the fuck away from this idiot. Because at the end of the day, I don't know who the fuck crazy right now because this person is being exactly who the fuck he's supposed to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is making you look like a fucking fool. You the one that didn't follow your dreams. You're the one that's not investing in your crap. You're the one that's not happy. You're the one that is turned out. Do you understand what I'm saying? And burnt out. You're the one with all these demons and all these thoughts of all of this shit that you could have did, didn't do. Should have, could have, would have. Emotional. Walking around with this emotional dress. You're the one walking around snapping on people. You're the one. Not this person. Do you understand what I'm saying? You. Not him. Look at him. Look at him. He's benefiting off of everything. Off of you running around looking crazy. Right now, it looks like some of y'all are facing the music. And I'm sorry to give y'all the harsh truth, but y'all need to hear this shit. This person ain't do nothing but be who the fuck they are. You were the one that was delusional. You the one that set your life to the side. You the one. Not him. Not him. So now God got to come and end this because you are like punishing yourself. 
It's like God got to come in this for you because you just going. It's just like self abuse. Like I said, a fucking cutter, like a fucking cutter. Like this shit still hurt, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway to see if I'm going to bleed more like I did last time. Like, what the fuck? Come on, Sag. And I love you. I fucking love you. One of my best friends is a Sagittarius. Not one of my best friends. My best friend is a Sagittarius. I ain't trying to get no call one day. Oh, this bitch done cut herself so deep that she done bled to death. Like, come on. Understand the self-abuse that you're afflicting on yourself. This person's not suffering. You are. Why are you still trying to make it work and you still calling to God to make something? You know what God said? Are you calling? You want me to help you? All right. You should have helped yourself a long time ago. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing to your insides? Intensity, interrogation, and stress in the tower. What are you doing to you? Why are you putting yourself through this Sagittarius? If you do not dedicate your effort and take your authority back and paint the perfect picture of what the fuck you want your life to be. Because this person is laughing at you like you're a fucking fool. Not only that, everybody that know you, that know about this shit, they look at you like this. This person is being who the fuck they are. You stupid. I'd have never held my life back. I'd have, I'd have never, I'd have never got myself in prison and tangled up with this shit. Never. Uh-uh. The healing begins. And I'm sorry I have to give y'all harsh truth, but I keep trying to tell y'all I'm not here to fucking play with y'all. Stop daydreaming and make fucking decisions. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this saying? It says daydreams and decisions. Stop daydreaming and make some fucking decisions. You understand? And get your heart aligned. Your heart aligned. And then number seven, this represents withdrawal. That represents contemplation. That represents understanding. It represents knowledge, wisdom, spirit, spirituality, and, and being able to analyze things. Being an analyst. Stop being caught up in this grandeur of self-fucking delusion. Thinking that you're going to have victory with a two-faced, stupid, narcissistic, catty-ass motherfucker. With a pussy-ass motherfucker. You chasing pussy. Pussy. Look at him. Pussy. Pussy. You dating a pussy. A pussy ass nigga. And you complaining up here about how you feeling like you having to be the man in this situation. Why you keep chasing pussy? Are we facing music right now? Why you chasing a pussy? It's a pussy ass motherfucker right here. I'm sorry. I had to fold my arms. <laughs> no, let's go ahead. Let's do love oracle. No, I went to the other one first. Let's do the tarot. Let's do the twin flame journey tarot deck by my lovely, my baby, Mystic Moon. Y'all check her out. She's a YouTuber as well. So, clarify this, this um, heart chakra spread. Six of Cups, memories and reunions. Yeah, you still tripping over shit, how good shit was in the past. This ain't the past no more. This is 2000 motherfucking 19, okay? This is June the 15th through the 30th, 2000 fucking 19. This ain't the past. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you get rid of all that nostalgia and all that bullshit, the three of swans. I told you this motherfucker. You was just the main woman. You was the one at home. 
The fuck, you know? I'm not about to do this shit with y'all. I'm not about to do this shit with y'all. You know that this motherfucker had somebody else that there was another. You was just the main woman at home. Get over this shit. Pull them fucking three swords out of your heart and get the fuck over this shit, Sagittarius. Do you understand? This is not the past. This is not the fucking past. You waiting for results for something to grow and that shit is knocking your shit all off balance. Your root chakra is all off balance, my dear. And is this the fucking chariot? The fucking chariot. I told you, the chariot in reverse. Your life ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Until you get your emotions together, you pull them fucking swords out of your goddamn chest. You stop thinking, hoping, and wishing, and praying for shit to be like how it was in the past. You wake up and realize what reality is and get going. I told y'all it was going to come out. What is this, the death card in reverse? You keep trying to hold on to something that God himself is trying to take from you. That's why this tower is about to happen. So whether you like it or not, and you're not going to see it coming, this shit going to happen like that. And the next thing you know, everything that you had, your whole life is destroyed. You're going to figure out how to fuck to pick your fucking face up off the floor. You're not listening. You're not listening. And a hard head makes a soft ass, Sagittarius. This has been your reading. Because I can't do it no more. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I, I the fuck cannot. And this shit's about to be bad, my nigga. Do you understand me? It's like God keep giving you chance after chance after chance. And still, and still, you cannot get your emotions together. Still, so that you can make decisions and go forward and do what you need to do. God is giving you chances. Still, you are still trying to. Hold on to something that God himself is taking, is trying to take from you because you do not need it. What do, listen to me. Do you know who Ramsey is in fucking Game of Thrones? He used to make people fuck his dogs and he used to feed people to his dogs. He used to rape people. The devil. I'm gone.